Hello everyone, my name is Matt B, and welcome to Castlevania Audio Sorrow. Happy Halloween! Um, I wanted to upload a video since it's been a few days, and I'm busy, everything. Don't mind that one, that one doesn't exist. Uh, we are... Oh man, fine. Not Star Junior this time, we are... Skull Junior. Nah, hold on. Yes, we are Oat. Spelled in crazy symbols. Crazy symbols, Oat. The year is 2035, Japan. Crowds of spectators are gathering around in anticipation of the first full solar eclipse in the 21st century. My name is Soma Cruz, and I am a high school exchange student studying abroad in Japan. I live near Hapaku Vivebe Shrine. An ancient shrine of strong ties to Japanese mythology. Mina Hakuba, the only daughter of the shrine's caretaker, is both a classmate and child of friend. I started making my way to the shrine to see if I could solar eclipse Mina, uh, some strange trees in the stairway leading up to this. Um, when I finally managed to get through the shrine gate, my senses began to dim. The pitch black sun holding the chaotic darkness together, trying to rouse a sleeping soul as if looking for its missing other half. Other half. Ooh, there is a bat, and then there is a castle. So yeah, this is my favorite of the three, I believe there are only three, Game Boy Advance Castlevanias. Um, I also really like the sequel, I suppose, on the DS that came out after this. It still has a Soma in it, so. Uh, who the heck are you? It's okay, Soma, his name's Genya Arikara. Skip the introductions, I have a few questions, so I'd answer now. Go, go ahead. Why have you come here? Why? We are Mina. Hang on, where are we? We're in Dracula's castle. Huh? Dracula's castle? Are you telling me we're in Europe? No, we're inside the solar eclipse. Inside the eclipse? You're insane. Do you think I'm a fool? Someone this is me's talking the truth. What the heck are you talking about? Give me an explanation. Well, it's like this. Huh? An enemy? <laughs> One collective enemy? Two. Protect the girl. Yeah, go back to where you came from. Go away. Uh, what was that thing? So it has awakened. What? What has? The spirit of the creature you kill has just entered your body. You have the power to absorb the abilities of the monsters you kill. Wh why? Why would I have that power? You have gained the power. Now you must go to the master's chamber. For what reason? Do you not wish to return with your friend to your own world? Of course I want to go back. To the master's chamber. Then you will understand everything. But I can't just leave me to here like this. No need to worry about it. I'll put up a protective barrier. But death will most certainly find those who stay here too long. Th then I... Yes, only you can save her from a painful death. And you, what will you do? I too have things I must do within these castle walls. Go, set forth. Both your own life and hers are at stake. Wait. Oh, uh, one second. There we go. Go, set forth. You already said that. I know, bro. <laughs> so like I was saying, this is my favorite of the Game Boy Castlevania games. Circle of the Moon is awesome. The second one I think was called Harmony of Dissonance. I might be wrong about that. That one was good, but just didn't quite like it as much. Good to you. Stab me. Also, I have a rather confusing setup because I'm looking at my screen right now. I'm looking at the capture. I'm playing this on the Wii U. Ah, ooh, ah. And if I turn on the TV behind me, you could see it behind me too. But I'm not going to do that because that would just be weird. So let's just go on through, slap some zombies, and have a good old spooky Halloween time. Oh no, bats. <laughs> Sweet. Short sword. I think this one was one of my favorites because it introduced more RPG elements of like, well, not that the other games didn't have equipment, but you could have different weapons, and I think that was a big... A big thing for me. I mean, granted, I know the Castlevania thing is to like, is to have a whip and be able to whip things. Oh, ooh, ah, can't slide. Go. 
Um, but they changed it up for this game, so, and I like what they did. Plus, there are alternate endings to this game, which I think are super cool. Arr, slap that fish. I can't slap the fish. Fine. Just gonna keep it going on here. I promise there's something in this direction. This isn't just exploration. Although I do not know this game like super back and forth. Um, I did play it a lot as a kid, so. Well, as a kid, I played it a lot like, I don't know, seven years ago maybe. Some tasty meat. Uh, yep, this is exactly what I wanted. This is totally what I thought it was. That tasty meat is important to the story, and, um. Ah. Ah. Oh, take that bat. So, yeah, and this game, you, um, each enemy has a, well, as I showed you at the start, has a soul that will give you an ability, which, you have to, yes, sorry to have that. So yeah, there are three types of abilities. These are like pass. The yellow ones are like passive buffs, sort of. Blue ones uh, are abilities that use R, and these you hold up and B to use or up and attack, like the sub weapons in other Castle mini games. And the gray ones are just like story things generally that you need. Although you only really need the back dash to get to one optional room, as far as I know. It is nice. So cool. Look at my after images. After Effects. Oh, look at those bats. Oh, a cape. Sweet. Oh, I forgot about the pendant. I want the pendant. I want to be lucky. I want more souls. It's a very, very bony hallway. Uh, what's I need 35 more to get to the next level. How much do you give? Three. Hmm. X-Man. Eh, eh. ah. <laughs> that was the worst way that could have gone. It's okay, guys. Uh, I'm good at games. How much did that give me? Ooh. You gave me a nice amount. I'm gonna smack you some more. Throw it overhand. That's an overhand. Uh... Oh. I got sickly sweet dodge, bro. Seven more. Okay, I'm just gonna kill one more axe dude. And I'll go fight the first boss of this game. Ha! Ah, you silly axe man! You think that's gonna hit me? I can duck! Whoa, Whoa it's a big bone! Whoa! That's what I think your big old bone. And it's gonna shoot fire lasers. Well, <laughs> all right. First boss done. I keep looking over. I can see my face in the screen, but the camera's over there, so it's really confusing to me. Did, no, I wanted that. First boss done. Hey, no, oh, this game's not so bad. All right. Um, cool. Let's go this way. Peeping eye. Hello. You're weird. Ha! Ah. Whoa, it's a secret. Whoa, it's a secret. Whoa, it's a potion. Mind up. Yeah, just mind up. <gasps> oh, I thought that was the peeping eye. Fine. I don't want to attack with supersonic waves. I like the spear. Oh, this is the waterway I was thinking of. This will lead to a thing that I need. Uh. Oh. Ow. Does it really hurt to be slapped in the face by a wing by a wing of a bat, even if it is rather on the large side? Okay, so I got to equip that. Now I get this thing. Whenever I press R, it makes me fall fall slowly. Uh, 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 uh. Wee! Which means I can go over here. Yes, exactly what that means. Let's go save. Wee! Whoa, cool. Then go up here. Wow. Wow, what a good archer. He really has the concept of aiming down. Oh, it's a bluebird. 
A blue crow. It's like I don't know my avians. Ah! Whoa, hello. Boyer. Don't look like a bear to me. Looks like a lion. A bunch of sights. Oh. Wee. Wow. Potion. Where? Okay. Get your white dragon. Ah, ah. Yeah, get out of here. Okay. So soldier. Great. Axe man. Whoa. He takes big steps. Get him. Leather leather plate. That sounds like two different things. But whatever. Uh, which way do I want to go? Let's go up. Look at all these cool things in here. Like skeleton knight. <laughs> he didn't want or care to use his shield. Turns out those are the same thing in that context. Uh, uh, words are difficult. Ha! <laughs> huh. Didn't turn around, sucker. Hello, sneaky tack. Oops. <laughs> one of those was a spear. Did you see which one it was? Correct. It was the one that was a spear. Yeah. No. Yeah, you keep backing up. Oh. Okay. I've got a spear stuck in my foot. But it makes it hard to throw axes. Ow. The bat touched my face and it was scary. That's some scare damage. I want that. Cool looking armor. Ah. Woo. Woo, Tyon. Ah. Oh, I think I can make that. But. Uh, let's explore down here. See what goodies await us. Hello. Whoa. Ow. Ha, ah, if I hold the sword here long enough, you will run into it. Silly goober. Ah. 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 Ooh. That was hot. Oh. Scarf. I don't need no scarf, I got a pendant. Ah. Ow. <laughs> Ducking does not solve all problems. This isn't Cuphead. Okay, so can I make it over Ow. Pardon me. Maybe I can't make it over there yet. Oh, maybe they did a double, the, 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 the double jump. Maybe I need to... Ow. Surprising me. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa! I used my gamer sense to know that the axe was coming. Ah. I should get a sweet trophy for that. An achievement. Ah. Okay. No. I got hit by it anyway. Oh, ah, ooh. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Someone's not having a good time here. He's still getting used to the castle. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's go this way with half health. That seems like a good idea. Hello. Zombie soldier. Ow. Ghost gear. I'm going to appear from off the screen and touch your foot. Are you bothered by that? Good. You better be swooped because it's Halloween, you silly. Ha! Ah. Ha. Ah. Try to use his military training against me. That stabby move. Alright, well, that was an interesting hallway. Bones! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, okay. I don't think I can go up. Right? Is, uh, nope. Need double jump. I'll get that soon enough. Zombie, zombie. Get, get. <laughs> oh, okay. Turns out Oat is stronger than he thinks he is. I don't know. Oat, Oat is pretty cool with the symbols and all, but he's no Star Junior, as far as names go. Star Junior was 
was a hero among men. So vampire slayers among vampire hunters. Whoa. So now. Plus I've already got used to calling this guy Soma. So I probably won't be calling him Oat, but that's okay. Yeesh. Get your rocks out of here. Uh no, your armor's not made of rocks, therefore it's not a uh, rock armor. That is um, illogical. I want that, please. Uh, could go down, but this is a safe spot. Ha! Huh. And now, I'm not dead. Hooray! All right, uh, maybe I'll stop this one here. All right. So before I go on any further, happy Halloween. Maybe I'll even get this episode up on Halloween. We'll see if I can get things together. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like and comment down below. Oh, no, someone's calling me. Uh, if you liked the video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you like the videos I've been creating, then I greatly appreciate it. You subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Catch you later.